What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. So in this video I'm going to go ahead and explain how recalibration works in the Division 2 and how it also can raise your gear score. So if you guys enjoy the video, drop a like on it. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division 2 content. So let's go ahead and pick this holster for example. I'll take this Fenders Group AB holster which I have not recalibrated whatsoever. The first thing that you need to know is that with any of the brand sets, you cannot change the brand set talents on them. Fenris has assault rifle damage, protection from elites, and health on kill. Those three things you can never change on any brand set. What you can change are the attributes and talents. You can pick one attribute if you have more than one on your piece of gear and change that, or you can change the talent, one or the other. For example, if I want to change this crit hit chance and I want, say, this 13% from my DNH holster because I don't want to use the DNH holster and I need more crit chance on the one that I am currently using, well, I can go ahead and take that, but I won't actually get the full 13% because there is a cap. So I will actually only be gaining 1%. I'll take the 6.5% that I currently have and I will get it up to 7.5%. The gear score on my item, however, will go up from 458 to 473. So that's how your gear score goes up. You take something that has a higher percentage in terms of attributes and put it into whatever you're wearing that has a lower value of attribute. But the thing is, is that you can only change if it's something that has to do with damage. Red is for damage. Blue is your health and armor. Yellow is your skill power. Red into red, blue into blue, yellow into yellow, simply put. And there will always be a cap. So, like I said, this 13%, I will not get 13%. I will only get up to 7.5%. If I chose health instead, well, I would, for one, need a holster that had either health or armor on it that was of a higher value. Or if I had a holster that had armor on it and it was a lower value than what this health number is, my gear score would not go up, but I could change it. If I wanted skill power in either one of these slots, I cannot do it. The game will not allow you to put skill power in a health or damage slot or vice versa. Moving down to the talents, let's say that I don't want surgical and I want something that is really hard hitting in PvE like this damage to elites. I could take the 15% damage to elites, put it into the surgical slot. The gear score will not go up because I'm not actually raising a value of an attribute. I'm simply swapping one talent for the other. And once you've done so, you will transfer, like it says on the bottom, destroy and transfer the stat slash talent. Meaning that if I take hard hitting and put it into the surgical slot, the holster that has the damage to elites on it in the first place will be completely consumed and destroyed. So you lose out on the piece of gear that you're taking the talent from. In some cases you will find pieces of gear that have quite a few stats on them like backpacks or chest plates. You can only pick one attribute or talent from those pieces of gear and once you've done so you will lose that piece of gear forever. And like I said, if it's something to do with a percentage, it will always be hit with a cap, but you'll see the cap before you go ahead and make your decision. Now, the other thing is that with items like chest plates and backpacks, I'm gonna go ahead and show you something here. There are different things on these pieces of gear because you have two different types of talents. One is your basic talent, same thing as the holster. This skill power I could, or sorry, skill duration, I could change to health, damage to elites, explosive damage, health on kill, anything of that sort. But if you have a talent that needs a requirement, like skilled, I require six or more spec into electronics, then I can only take a talent that also has a requirement, like safeguard, which requires me to have five or more spec into my damage. So that is how that works. I could not take damage to elites and put it into this slot where skilled is. If there's a requirement on it, it has to have another talent with a requirement. If it doesn't, then you don't have to worry about it and you can take anything else. 
So I do have another backpack actually that has two talents on it with no requirements whatsoever. This 511 backpack here. I've got restorative and vital. So if I wanted to get rid of vital, I could go ahead and pick any of these other backpacks, this explosive damage, and transfer it into the vital slot. If you want to keep vital and get rid of restorative, you can do the same thing. You can still take the same thing and swap it over. But again, remember, anytime you go ahead and transfer one talent from one piece of gear to the next, you do lose that initial piece of gear that you are transferring the attribute or talent from. So now moving over to the weapons. The same premise goes, just same as the gear. If you have a percentage, like here we've got 29% health damage on this assault rifle. If I had an assault rifle that had a higher percentage, I could go ahead and transfer it. I would meet a cap and my score would go up. Because all of my assault rifles all have 29% on them, well, there's nothing I could really do there. Breadbasket has a requirement five or more spec into damage, which means I could take any talent on any of these other assault rifles. Assault rifles have to go into assault rifles, snipers into snipers, LMGs into LMGs, shotguns into shotguns, pistols into pistols, so on and so on. You guys get the point there. Anything that has a requirement, I can go ahead and change into this slot. Moving down to where you will have, see things like Allegro, Mag Size, you again can change that slot. There's no requirement, so you can pick anything you like. And then you obviously always have your bottom talent here. So I've got Protected Deploy. If I wanted Rooted, I could go ahead and swap that over. But again, because I'm not actually changing a percentage of anything, I cannot raise the gear score. I could just simply swap the talent over and consume one weapon into the other. So, and again, like I said, assault rifles into assault rifles, SMGs into SMGs. I can't take an SMG talent and put it onto an assault rifle talent or an LMG, anything like that. So, but yep. That is just a quick little breakdown of how recalibration works in the Division 2. In some ways, I would say it's a little bit restrictive and we are somewhat limited, especially with the fact that if I want a talent on a different gun, I have to have the same class, like I said, assault rifle into assault rifle. The fact that percentages are always going to meet a cap things like that sometimes it's not really going to be worth it and it will just come down to personal choice and preference so but anyways guys that is it for me that is how recalibration works in the division two if you do have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comment section i will do my best to answer them i do hope that the video was helpful and informative like i said if so drop a like on the video it's very much appreciated don't forget that you can always follow me on twitter at afflicted gamer i'll see you very soon in the next video or in the next live stream